Hi, I'm Bob Rimmel, and I'm here at the University of New Hampshire Woodman Research Farm. And about a year ago, we donated a 30 by 48 rolling thunder greenhouse to UNH so that they could do research and try different things in the greenhouse and outside of the greenhouse. Um, I am here with Dave Stoltzfus from Advancing Alternatives, and just recently uh, we installed a solar system in the greenhouse so that everything is off the grid now uh, before everything used to be powered with line, typical line voltage. And uh, Dave, if you could just describe uh, the solar system that uh, we installed and maybe run through some of the components that it controls, that would be great. Well, basically we came in and we installed the solar panel that you see back here. And, uh, and we've got a battery on the inside here that that panel is charging with a charge controller so it always does the correct voltage so it will not overfill the battery and it will also let you know as the battery is getting low. From there we have one of our controllers and that's a it's our solar panel controller so it will take the voltage the low voltage from the battery and turn that into basically telling the curtains, the shutters, a roof end if you want it, um, to open and close. So on this particular house we have roll up motors, one on each side, and we have the temperature set at 70 degrees. We have a differential set at 2 degrees. So at 72 degrees this curtain will open up. We also have uh, shutters up there on this, this particular house and they will open either earlier or at whatever temperature you want them to open. I think they're currently set at 68 degrees. Uh, and then the beauty of this whole thing is we're also inflating the roof. So you can have a double layer of poly on this house. So Dave, um, now with the equipment on this greenhouse, which are uh, two motorized roll-up sides, two gable shutters, and an inflation fan, uh, we we had to change around some of the components. It's not just your standard inflation blower or your standard motors for for the gable shutters. Um, can you just des describe just how we had to do that in order to make this operate off of solar? Yeah. So what we did, we uh, originally there's stall motors on it, the 110 volt stall motors. So we take them off and we actually put linear actuators on them. And so those are low voltage, 24 volt DC linear actuators. They will open and close the same way that your roll up curtains will open and close, with a signal to open and a signal to close. And then with the fan, we also had to go with a low voltage fan. Normally you would have a blower fan in them, but we had to pop that out. And it's a very simple switch. It's, it's very nice for those people who don't typically have electricity in their houses, or if they want to go and reduce their carbon footprint, this is a great way to go. Now, obviously right now it's summertime, the days are longer, the sun is higher, but how do you expect the system to work in maybe the shorter winter months where we could have a, an excessive period of cloudy days? Well, it's interesting, yes. Um, we, we have a, a system that's been in place uh, for over two years in uh, New Hampshire, up here close to the University of New Hampshire. And we, not, we have not had any problems. It has run great during the winter time. Um, the way we s set the, the, the solar panel is at an angle where it'll get the, the winter's best rays. So summer we have plenty of, of sun. We don't need to worry about it too much when the, when the solar panel is angled at that angle. Now, do you, do you store this excess energy in a, in a battery bank, or how, how, is that how it works? Yes. There is a battery bank on the inside of the greenhouse, and so our charge controller, what it does, it, it takes the energy from the solar panel, and it puts it into the battery. So the charge controller makes sure that that battery does not get overfilled, but it also makes sure that if it gets low, which it very rarely does with one panel, you will be able to know it. Now is this a system that could be used on a, on a greenhouse with say exhaust fans and heaters or is this more geared towards uh, 
a, a, like a high tunnel or rolling thunder with mo a moderate amount of equipment to be controlled. Maybe even on a really nice tunnel, you might have a roof vent. Where, where do you draw the line in the sand as far as being able to, to utilize this solar package? Well, obviously it's low voltage. So if you want to, if you need to run 110 volt items in there, you would need to add additional panels, additional batteries, and inverters, etc. For this application here at UNH, this is great. You can move it, you don't have to drag electrical cords. The ideal situation is roof vents, gable shutters, you can put some LED lights in there if you need some lighting, and then you roll up curtains. It's really all about natural ventilation. Mm -hmm. Most heaters are going to take some sort or some kind of 110 volt electricity. So if you have gas in the greenhouse and you can take a low voltage single, you could probably run your heater with it. It might take a little bit of configuration. Okay, that sounds great. So it's really a, 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 you know, a, a low carbon footprint type operation that we could use this for. Um, it's probably something that will give you a payback in just a few years and then uh, after that it's just money in your back pocket. That is correct. Yeah, overall the big thing with the beauty of solar is you don't have to dig an expensive trench out to your greenhouse. Uh, the beauty of solar is you can have manual cranks on them now, a very simple switch to go fully automated. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's just, there's so many nice things and nice features about going automated in a high tunnel. And this is a perfect example. Terrific. Thank you very much, Dave.